Since the brand's inception, the Domino's logo has undergone a few changes. Despite these modifications, some elements of the logo, like the font, remain unchanged. In this video, we'll go over the evolution of the brand logo of the famous pizza chain. We'll also go over the history of the brand and how they got to this point. Well, for starters, Domino's Incorporated will be 63 years old in 2023. But can a corporation last this long without making changes to its branding strategies? It's difficult, if not impossible, to find a firm that has been around for approximately six decades without adjusting its corporate image to fit the changing needs of the times. To stay at the top of the business game, Tom Monahan and his successors recognized they had to alter their branding tactics. From 1960 to 2013, Domino's logo design went through four stages, reflecting the industries and the company's demands. Tom had no objections when Jim Kennedy offered Domino's name because he believes it echoes nicely with the prior name. This was the inspiration for the original logo, which was a domino with two horizontal pieces. The logo included two red squares over a blue rectangle with the words Domino's Pizza. The three white dots and the red squares above, two on the left and one on the right, combined to form an exceptional squared emblem with rounded edges, the two red squares plus the single blue rectangle. The designer was Ypsilanti graphic artist David Stribley. Minor changes were made to the second logo. The logo was rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise this time, giving it a vertical appearance. The left quadrant was formed by the red and three dots, while the right quadrant was produced by the blue and the company's name. The colors became brighter and darker. The rounded edges were taken off, the company's name was written in all capital letters, and two new white squares were put around the dots to make them stand out. The corporation went back to the old logo for the third time, but with some new alterations. Instead of the horizontal elements, the new design flipped the old logo on its edge to depict a kite-shaped insignia. With some good color schemes, the rounded edges and old lettering of the company were brought back. In 2012, the firm took the daring step of changing its name to simply Domino's. This modification also had an impact on the new logo. With the company selling a variety of cuisines, it was a good decision to leave pizza out of the name. The new logo consists of merely two rounded squares with three dots. The red shape has one dot, while the blue shape has two. The slanted logo now bears the company's name. To give a clearer outline, let me walk you through the history of these changes. The initial Domino's logo was created in 1965. It was a square-shaped insignia with two domino pieces, one red with three dots and one blue with the firm name. Rounded corners gave the artwork a delicate feel. The logo was revamped in 1977. The new design featured sharper corners and more saturated colors. In addition, the image was rotated to the side. However, the logo was restored to its original position in 1996. The current Domino's logo originates from 2012. Because the legendary restaurant had developed a very comprehensive menu by that time, it was decided to remove the term pizza from the insignia. The word Domino's is written in a big font, and there is a blue and red domino in the current design. The logo conveys a sense of security and professionalism. Domino's logo creatively integrated various design aspects to make it stand out, squares, dots, colors, font, and rectangles. The three dots symbolize Tom's first three businesses. The typeface is readable enough to be spotted from a distance, and it works nicely with the other parts. As a proud American corporation, it's hardly unexpected that red, blue, and white are prominent in the logo design. The color red is associated with passion, love, and vitality. The blue represents unity and integrity, while the white conveys purity, cleanliness, and safety. The square form represents the pizza box. In addition, the traditional game of Domino promotes joy and excitement. In line with this concept, Domino signifies a corporation that delivers joy and happiness into people's lives through events such as parties and weddings. The font used in Domino's logo, on the other hand, is Futura. Futura is a geometric sans-serif typeface created by Paul Renner in 1927. It was created as part of the new Frankfurt Initiative. It is built on geometric shapes, particularly the circle, and is inspired by the Bauhaus design style of the time. But why has the logo been successful? The phenomenal success of Domino's branding can be summed up in two words, stability and flexibility. The Domino's logo is one of the few corporate symbols that has changed very little over the years. Even though there have been a few small changes, the company hasn't tried to change the logo's overall look or feel. The simple and attractive blue and red Domino part makes it easy to recognize the well-known chain of pizza restaurants. So how has Domino's Pizza fared over the years? What exactly triggered the subtle changes in their logo? 
Tom Monahan was born on March 25, 1937, to Francis and Anna Monahan. The family lived in Ann Arbor, Michigan, in a modest farmhouse. Tom's father died of peritonitis on Christmas Eve 1941, when he was four years old. Tom's mother placed him and his brother in a foster home when he was six years old. They stayed for over seven years before being reunited with their mother. Tom joined the Marines and served for three years despite not being able to afford college. He saved some money from his maritime responsibilities for college, but he also lost $2,000 in commercial fraud. His determination to attend Michigan University paid off in 1960, but he dropped school after only three weeks. Tom and his younger brother, James, borrowed $500 in 1960 to open a modest pizza shop in Ypsilanti, Michigan. The Monahan brothers intend to divide the tasks evenly in order to manage the business properly. However, after eight months, James sold his stake in exchange for a Volkswagen Beetle, the company's delivery van. He couldn't afford to leave his full-time job for a firm with an unknown future. In 1965, Tom Monahan had three pizza shops after purchasing two extras. To keep the branding consistent across all three stores, he spoke with Dominic Devarti, the original store owner. Dominic, on the other hand, refused to let him take the lead. Fortunately, an employee named Jim Kennedy proposed the name Domino's. He liked the moniker since it was memorable to his consumers. In the same year, he officially adopted the name Domino's Pizza Incorporated. Tom Monahan sold his first franchise in 1967 after learning the finest practices in the industry and developing his own unique approach to building his firm. Tom had 200 outlets by 1978. In 1973, the company started the 30-minute delivery system, which promised that orders would be delivered within 30 minutes of being placed. Like any organization, Domino's Pizza has had to deal with a couple of challenges over the years. For example, in 1975, Amstar Corporation, the maker of Domino Sugar, sued Domino Pizza for trademark infringement. However, Tom prevailed in court in 1980. While celebrating its 100th store, the first in Vancouver, Washington, Domino's Pizza opened its first overseas location in Manitoba, Canada. These two incidents occurred in 1983. By 1985, Domino's had opened its first location in Luton, England, and its second in Tokyo, Japan. The company's well-known 30-minute delivery initiative posed numerous problems. For example, in 1992, the business paid $2.8 million in restitution for the death of an Indiana woman. In addition, the business paid a $15 million court settlement for colliding with and injuring another woman in 1993. In 1995, the company relocated to China, marking its 1,000th worldwide site, and two years later, it celebrated its 1,500th international location by simultaneously establishing seven stores on five continents in a single day. What an impressive achievement. After Tom Monahan sold 93% of his shareholding to Bain Capital Incorporated, for around $1 billion in 1998, the new board of directors named Dave Brandon as CEO. Domino's Pizza began trading on the New York Stock Exchange after 44 years as a privately held corporation. Achievements, on the other hand, have also been in quantum. Domino's Pizza celebrated its 5,000th U.S. location in Huntley, Illinois, and its 3,000th international restaurant in Panama City, Panama, bringing the total number of stores to 8,000 in January 2006. In December 2006, Taiwan's Jinghua Hotel Group paid $500 million for the rights to own Domino's Pizza in Taiwan and Beijing. In August 2006, Domino's Tala location in Ireland became the first in the company's history to reach $3 million in annual sales volume. By September 2006, Domino's had over 8,200 outlets globally, grossing $1.4 billion. In 2007, Domino's introduced online and mobile ordering options, as well as the Dream franchising program. In 2008, they were followed by the Pizza Tracker, an online tool that allows consumers to check the status of their orders in real time. To increase its trustworthiness, Domino's developed a billboard advertisement in New York in 2011 that included customer remarks. Domino's Pizza changed its name to simply Domino's in August 2012. By 2014, the firm had expanded to 6,000 sites outside of the United States, before launching a store in Milan, Italy, in 2015, and showcasing a pizza car that can carry 80 pizzas at a time. This vehicle uses less fuel. In 2016, the company deployed self-driving robots to deliver pizzas in various German and Dutch cities. That same year, pizza was delivered by drone in New Zealand. In February 2017, it introduced its wedding registry, which provides pizza-loving couples with gifts. In June 2018, 
Domino's started paving for pizza, a campaign to repair potholes in the United States in order to safeguard its pizzas from damage during delivery. A year later, Domino's and Neuro announced that they would work together to make pizza delivery vehicles that can drive themselves. Now, let's go over some facts about Domino's Pizza. Fact number one, for over 30 years, Domino's offered only two pizza sizes and one drink. For most of its time in business, Domino's only sold two sizes of pizza, 11 toppings, and one soft drink, cola. They also exclusively served pizza for delivery or takeout. They thought that if they kept their menu simple, the food would be better and the business would run more smoothly. Fact number two, they have always been focused on delivery. The first Domino's location was too small for sit-down dining. Instead, Tom Monahan hired local industrial workers who had been laid off to distribute pizzas across town. Fact number three, the franchise's first vegan pizza was released in Israel. Domino's introduced its first vegan pizza in Israel, according to a 2013 Food Beast report. The pizza is topped with soy cheese and vegetables rather than dairy cheese. Fact number four, Domino's tried out drone pizza delivery. Domino's collaborated with the company Flirty to create the first pizza delivery drone in 2016. The machine made its debut in New Zealand. Fact number five, they once held a tattoo tournament that went horribly wrong. In 2018, Domino's gave Russian fans who received a tattoo of the chain's logo a lifetime supply of free pizza. Unfortunately, they had to call it quits after far too many people rushed to get tattooed. Instead, they gave away free pizza to the first 350 individuals who shared their ink on social media. Fact number six, the pizza chain was forced to completely reinvent its recipe. Domino's abandoned its original pizza recipe in response to a series of critiques, including claims that its crust tasted like cardboard. After going down for a long time, the restaurant had a successful pizza comeback in 2009 and beyond with a completely new taste. Fact number seven, Domino's is the sixth most popular pizza chain in the United States. Domino's is the fifth most popular pizza chain in the United States as of April 2018. It is located immediately following Pizza Ranch, Papa Murphy's, Marco's Pizza, and Papa John's. Fact number eight, after the United States, India has the most Domino's restaurants in the world. As of the end of 2017, India had the world's second highest number of Domino's restaurants. The country now has 1,126 eateries and is growing. Fact number nine, every day, Domino's distributes over 1 million pizzas. Every day, Domino's delivers nearly 1 million pizzas in the United States alone. Also, every week, Domino's delivery drivers travel 10 million miles, the equivalent of 14 journeys to the moon and back. Fact number 10, Domino's has developed an autonomous pizza delivery robot. Domino's presented the world with a self-driving pizza delivery van in 2016. The DRU, which stands for Domino's Robotic Unit, was made in New Zealand. It is basically a low-powered oven on wheels. Fact number 11, they also offer a delivery app that requires no clicks. Domino's launched a zero-click pizza delivery app in 2016. A countdown timer begins when users launch the app. If they do not stop the timer after 30 seconds, the app automatically places a delivery order. Fact number 12, Domino's has developed Twitter to order pizzas. If social media didn't already add value to our lives, we can now use it to get fed. In 2015, Domino's launched its tweet to order service, which allowed users to make a direct order for delivery by tweeting a pizza emoji to the official Domino's account. Fact 13, you can order pizza over Alexa and Slack using the Anywhere software. You may order pizza from anywhere with Domino's Anywhere technology. Users may order their slices through Google Home, Alexa, Facebook Messenger, and, most recently, Slack. In conclusion, Domino's has become a household name for pizza all over the world as a result of its clever and strategic branding. There's one lesson to learn from Domino's branding, don't be frightened to try out new ideas. You can create some truly amazing art pieces by combining simplicity and creativity.